Welcome to Aerographics 2012 in Calgary. We are with Holly Rochmeyer and uh, uh, we need to ask to her something about computer science and uh, computer graphics. Uh, Holly is a professor and chair at Yale University. Um, I need to know something about uh, uh, your activity at the university and in uh, computer graphics. Uh, yeah, so uh, my uh, research interest in graphics are generally uh, centered around what's called rendering, uh, although I also do some work in modeling. Uh, in our group we have some uh, research on sketching uh, for conceptual design, and then uh, we also have uh, modeling work, and, and the work I'm talking about here, uh, modeling the appearance of materials for making uh, realistic images, and also to assist uh, people who design physical uh, materials um, and uh, in, in the area of computer graphics I'm also interested in application areas because these introduce new problems to us and push our research along and I'm particularly interested in research in cultural heritage and in evolutionary biology. What about uh, the second one, uh, about uh, bird uh, evolution? What is the, um, the role uh, played by uh, computer graphics in this, uh, in this time? So, uh, in order for uh, a biologists to understand how uh, bird vision systems have evolved, they need to know what uh, have birds been looking at. And an important feature is they look at other birds. So they want to know what are the patterns on the bodies of other birds and, and things that, that only other birds can see, for example, to, uh, to identify each other, and also uh, ways that they have patterns to make themselves hidden from other animals that might be predators. So uh, what we do is uh, our contributions are to capture the shape and uh, surface material uh, of the bird so then we can make images uh, from many different views so the biologists can study the patterns that the birds would be seeing and somehow get an idea of uh, how uh, the, 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 the co-evolution of how birds see and how birds are, are patterned on their bodies. Do you know CRS4 Research Center in Cagliari? Yeah, yeah. And others uh, um, academic institution in Italy where you are collaborated in? Well, uh, not so much explicit collaborations, but uh, colleagues that I often uh, 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 correspond with and whose papers I'm always interested in, uh, particularly the group in, in PISA, Roberto Scopeno's group, uh, they have a lot of common interest in doing scanning and their work in cultural heritage, so uh, I often communicate with them. And there, there are many other groups uh, in, in Italy uh, who do excellent work in graphics and vision that I follow. I think, do you know uh, very well the community of uh, computer graphics? Uh, what uh, uh, role is played by uh, com conference like this, like Eurographics or SIGGRAPH? Well, the, both of them are very important for people to meet and have a chance to talk to face to face and make connections over common research interests. And uh, the flavor of the different conferences is different. Uh, um, Eurographics, of course, it draws from a different geographic region, uh, but also it is a very nice scale. It's big enough to draw lots of interesting people, but it's still focused that you, you, you can find the people that you want to talk to easily. So so it's a very nice mix. Okay. Thank you very much. Andrea Mameli, Aerographics 2012, Calgary.